Hello everyone, welcome back to Physics HQ. This is Professor Sandeep, your tutor for the class 12th lecture series. Continuing with the lecture series of solving MCQs and sums, today we will be covering textbook unsolved sums of chapter 5 oscillations. This is the third part of sum solving. We have already covered the MCQs and two parts of the sum solving. Please check out those videos as well if not done yet. Let us start with the first sum for today. The displacement of an oscillating particle is given by x is equal to a sin of omega t plus b cos of omega t where a, b and omega are constant. Prove that the particle performs a linear SHM with amplitude a is equal to root of a square plus b square. So we got x is equal to a sin of omega t plus b cos of omega t. Now to prove that a particle performs a linear SHM, we need to bring it in this form. x is equal to some amplitude a sin of omega t plus the initial phase phi. Now for this what we'll do is we will take a is equal to capital A cos phi and b is equal to capital A sin phi. Let us put it over here. So we got x is equal to capital A cos phi sin of omega t plus b ke j ke pe we are writing a sin phi cos of omega t so we will have x is equal to a and from here this is basically the formula of sin of a plus b so this is sin of omega t plus phi as you all can remember sin of a plus b is nothing but sin a cos b plus cos a sin b now with this what we can say is this displacement is having amplitude a and it is varying sinusoidally with the phase omega t plus phi. So this particle is performing SHM over here. Let us find out the amplitude of this. For that we will be using these two equations. Let us find out what is small a square plus small b square. This is equal to capital A square cos phi square plus capital A square sin square phi. Capital A square common le lete. What we are left with is cos square phi plus sin square phi. So what we find over here is a square plus b square equal to a square plus sin square theta plus cos square theta is 1. Right? So we got a square plus b square is equal to capital A square. Or you can say a over here is root of a square plus b square. So from this equation we prove that the particle is performing SHM. And here we have showed that the amplitude of this particle is root of a square plus b square. Let us check out the next sum. Two parallel SHMs represented by x1 equal to phi sin of 4 pi t plus pi by 3 centimeter and x2 is equal to 3 sin of 4 pi t plus pi by 4 centimeter are superposed on a particle. Determine the amplitude and epoch of the resultant. So we got amplitude of first one as 5 amplitude of the second one as 3 the phase of the first one is pi by 3 and the initial phase of the second one is pi by 4 so the resultant amplitude is given by the formula a1 square plus a2 square plus 2a1 a2 into cos of the difference between their initial angles which is phi1 minus phi2 so yaha pe ye aa jayega a1 is phi ka square, a2 is 3 ka square, 2 times phi into 3 into cos of phi1 is pi by 3 minus phi2 is pi by 4. So this is root of 25 plus 9, this is phi2 is 10 plus 3, 30, cos of phi by 3 is 60 and this is pi by 4 which is 45, so we are left with cos of 15. So cos 15 of log book may say they can find kar sakte. you will get this as 34 plus 30 into 0 0.9659 and when we solve this we will have root of 62.98 which will be 7.936 centimeter now to find the epoch the formula is tan inverse a1 sin phi1 plus a2 sin phi2 divided by a1 cos of phi1 plus a2 cos of phi2 let us put all the values over here so we got tan inverse 5 sin of phi1 is pi by 3 plus a2 is 3 sin of pi by 4 divided by once again 5 cos of pi by 3 plus 3 cos of pi by 
4. So this is tan inverse 5 into sin pi by 3 is sin 60 which is root 3 by 2. Now root 3 by 2 can be written as 0.866. See, I have told you in the first sums. Mein bhi. 3 into sin of pi by 4 is 1 by root 2 which can be written as 0 0.707. So if you can remember these things, aapka sum solving kafi asan ho jayega. Next we got 5 into again cos of 60 is 1 by 2. Then 3 times cos of 45 is 1 by root 2 which can be written as 0 0.707. So this will be tan inverse 4.33 plus 2.121 divided by 2.5 plus 2.121 which is tan inverse 6.451 divided by 4.621 ye aapko log se solve karna padega you will get this as 1.396 and tan inverse of 1.396 is 54 degree and 23 minutes hope you all understood this let us check out the next sum a 20 cm wide thin circular disc matlab ye diameter ho gaya iska which is 20 cm so radius will be 10 cm or you can write it as 0.1 meter of mass 200 g so mass is 0.2 kg is suspended to a rigid support from a thin metallic string by holding the rim of the disc the string is twisted through 60 degree and released it now performs angular oscillation of period 1 second. So we got time period as 1 second. Calculate the maximum restoring torque generated in the string under undamped condition. So we got pi over here. So look pi say we can calculate omega. So omega is 2 pi by t which is 2 pi radian per second. We can also calculate moment of inertia. Now moment of inertia of the thin circular disc is given by half mr square for a axis which is transverse to it and passing through the center of mass. So here we will have half into 0.2 radius is given as 0.1 ka square. So this will be this is 0.1. So ye pura ho jayega 10 raise to minus 3 kg meter square. Now omega is given as root of c by i. So from here we can find c which will be omega square into i and omega square will be 2 pi ka square into i is 10 raise to minus 3. So we got 4 into pi square into 10 raise to minus 3 as the torsional constant now magnitude of maximum restoring force tau max is given by c into theta so we got this as 4 pi square into 10 raised to minus 3 and theta they have given as 60 over here when we convert this into radian this is pi by 3 so we got pi by 3 so finally we got 4 by 3 pi cube into 10 raised to minus 3 now pi cube is 31 as given in the question and when we solve this we will get 41.33 into 10 raised to minus 3 newton meter or you can write this as 0.04133 newton meter. Let us check out the next sum. Find the number of oscillations performed per minute by a magnet vibrating in the plane of uniform field of 1.6 into 10 raise to minus 5 Weber per meter square. So we got B 1.6 into 10 raise to minus 5 has moment of inertia which is given as 3 into 10 raise to minus 6 and magnetic moment which is given as 3 ampere meter square. First of all they are asking frequency of oscillations. So frequency of oscillation is given by 1 upon 2 pi root of mu into b divided by i. Now this will be oscillation per second or oscillation per minute. We will multiply this into 60. So this will be 60 upon 2 pi under root mu b by i. So this is equal to 60 upon 2 into 3.142 under root mu ka value is given as 3 b is 1.6 into 10 raise to minus 5 i is given as 3 into 10 raise to minus 6 so this 3 and 3 will cancel out and uh, 
ये टेन एस टू माइनस सिक्स ऊपर जाके प्लस सिक्स हो जाएगा सो so, न्यूमरेटर में विल बी लेफ्ट विथ वन पॉइंट सिक्स इंटू टेन विच इज सिक्सटीन यहाँ पे वी गॉट थर्टी अपॉन थ्री पॉइंट वन फोर टू वी आर लेफ्ट विथ थर्टी अपॉन थ्री पॉइंट वन फोर टू इंटू रूट ऑफ सिक्सटीन जो कि फोर हो जाएगा आफ्टर मल्टीप्लाइंग दिस विल हैव वन ट्वेंटी थ्री पॉइंट वन फोर टू दिस विल गिव एस दी आंसर एस थर्टी एट पॉइंट वन नाइन oscillations per minute let us check out the next sum a wooden block of mass m is kept on a piston that can perform vertical vibration of adjustable frequency and amplitude during vibrations we don't want the block to leave the contact with the piston how much maximum frequency is possible if the amplitude of vibration is restricted to 25 cm in this case how much is the energy per unit mass of the block we have to take g equal to pi square equal to 10 meter per second square so amplitude is 25 cm or you can write it as 25 into 10 raised to minus 2 meter now let us say this is the piston and iske upar ye mass rakha hua hai block rakha hua hai of some mass m see while going up koi dikkat nahi hai kyunki piston upar jayega to mass ko upar leke jane wala so wahan pe contact nahi chutega problem comes while coming down ठीक है नाउ वाइल कमिंग डाउन पिस्टन इज गोइंग टू कम डाउन विद द रिस्टोरिंग फोर्स ऑफ द एस एच एम ऑफ द वाइब्रेशन जो यहां पे परफॉर्म हो रहा है द थिंग इज कि मास अगर उसके सेम स्पीड से उसके साथ में अगर नीचे नहीं आया देन जो कॉन्टेक्ट है उन दोनों के बीच में वो छूट जाएगा ठीक है सो द क्राइटेरिया इज द मास शुड ऑल्सो कम डाउन विद द रिस्टोरिंग फोर्स ऑफ दिस एस और रिस्टोरिंग फोर्स का फॉर्मूला क्या होता है रिस्टोरिंग फोर्स का अगर सिर्फ मैं मैग्नीट्यूड का बात करूं तो इट इज के एक्स ये एक्सट्रीम पोजीशन पे डिस्प्लेसमेंट हो जाएगा ए तो एफ इज इक्वल टू के ए हम सिर्फ मैग्नीट्यूड का बात कर रहे हैं एंड के की जगह पे वी कैन डेफिनेटली राइट एम ओमेगा स्क्वेयर ए सो दिस इज द रिस्टोरिंग फोर्स बाय विच द मास शुड कम डाउन एंड अगर वो पिस्टन से टाइड होता या कनेक्टेड होता बाय सम मीन्स तो वो आ जाता था बट वो टाइट नहीं है सो वाइल कमिंग डाउन ये जो ब्लॉक ऑफ मास m है इसके ऊपर सिर्फ एक ही फोर्स एक्ट कर रहा है और वो फोर्स है उसका वेट का विच इज गिवन बाय एम जी नाउ अंडरस्टैंड दिस अगर ये रिस्टोरिंग फोर्स इज इक्वल टू दोर्स ऑफ दी वेट ये दोनों सेम रहेंगे तो ही वो क्या रहेगा पिस्टन के साथ में नीचे आएगा अदरवाइज कॉन्टेक्ट उससे छूटने वाला है सो लेट मी राइट इट डाउन so this will be m omega square a this should be equal to mg ab yahan pe ye aap m cancel kar sakte so you got omega square a is equal to g now this can also be understood as this is a max which is equal to g this is the criteria or threshold condition agar acceleration isse zyada ho gaya g ke value se zyada ho gaya to contact chhut jayega okay ya yeah, it will just leave the contact at this point right so ye apna yahan pe criteria ho jata hai for defining the maximum frequency so let us start solving by using this so omega square a should be equal to g omega ki jagah pe we can write 2 pi f square a equal to g or you can have f square is equal to g upon a 2 pi ka square will be 4 pi square or we can find frequency as g upon a into 4 pi square pi square and g are approximately 10 to hum log isko cancel kar sakte so this is root of 1 upon a is 25 into 10 raised to minus 2 into 4 25 into 4 will be 100 or 10 raised to minus 2 into 100 will be 1 so we are left with frequency equal to root of 1 which is 1 hertz so hume maximum frequency mil gaya yahan pe which is 1 hertz next they have asked what is energy per unit mass of the block so energy ke liye we have the formula as half m omega square a square but we want energy per unit mass to ye mass wala term hum is baaju le lete so we got e by m is equal to half omega square a square 1 by 2 omega square ki jagah pe we can write 4 pi square f square टू ए स्क्वायर सो ये टू टू जो कैंसिल हो जाएगा सो टू इंटू पाई स्क्वायर दे हैव गिवन वी कैन टेक इट एज टेन 
frequency is 1 so 1 ka square will be 1 only and amplitude that we got is 25 into 10 raised to minus 2 ka square over here so e by m will be equal to 25 ka square will be 625 625 into 2 will be 1250 so we are left with 1250 into 10 raised to ek 1 hai minus 4 hai so minus 3 or we can write it as 1.25 joule for energy per mass hai to per kg ho jayega this is the final answer hope you all understood this thank you for your time if you are finding this lecture series useful then show us your appreciation by clicking on the like button and don't forget to share it with your friends and classmates Based on your feedbacks and suggestions, we will be making videos under our 5 minutes lecture series for class 12. So please feel free to let us know the topics you want us to cover. See you all in the next class. This is Professor Sandeep from Physics HQ signing off.